First things first, breakfast before setting off. Good morning, once again. Beautiful day, seven o'clock in the morning. I'm dodging the path today for about up to eight miles on a guess. I've been watching numerous YouTube videos about the Pennine Way and this part today between Slaggy Ford and Greenhead is pathless and boggy for miles upon miles so I'm not doing it twice brood pub behind me not once brood once brood is the youth fossil apparently as you can gather by my shadow the sun is behind me Windshields, halfway point, and the highest position on Hadrian's Wall. This gentleman from Birmingham was backpacking the Hadrian's Wall footpath. You have a pint in Newcastle? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. All right, well, enjoy your walk. And you, all the best. Yes. Bye bye. And there would have been a watch tower here, Cow Gap. Semi Cow Fields. Hard to imagine a big castle being here. And I remember this viewpoint from four years ago. This is where I depart the Pennine Way or the Hadrian's Wall path for a few hours. It goes that way. And I'm going Halt, Twistle, Burn, Footpath. Um, and I'm looking forward to see a nice viaduct later on. I had already walked the remainder of Hadrian's Wall path to Greenhead four years ago. Halt, whistle. Here was the entrance to the prisoner of war camp. 18,000 German officers were held in the Second World War. And these buildings here are the only ones that remain from the camp. I'm now going over the Lambley Viaduct. Now back on the Pennine Way, that post there goes north. Back to the pathless bogs. Yes, he 
brake on. And I'm going to brake on a pen and waste style with my Scottish breakfast bread and butter sandwich. About three and a half miles short of Slaggy Ford. Looks like a nice little bowling green there. sat in Slaggy Ford and I've messed up a little bit. I've passed the pub. Hi. Hello. Oh. And the village hall was there a mile away, not here. I was told I could camp in the back of the village hall. I'm not walking back. And I'm shattered. Oh, but I've got plenty of time to find somewhere. Right, I'm done for the day. I've just crossed that road there now. And the Pennine Way goes through this woodland, Alston, three miles. But I'm going along this road and I'm hitching a lift. I've booked a youth hostel. I can't do no more, I'm gone. I've landed in Alston Youth Hostel unexpectedly. I couldn't find anywhere to pitch that tent. Uh, so I gave up. I was too tired, I wasn't going to go no further. I only walked about a mile along the road and I got a lift. Over 20 miles for me is too much. So there we are, my fault. Paint. It's a strange place, isn't it? It's like two places, isn't it? Yeah, it's a mile out. It's like so I'd passed it, you see, by the time. Yeah. So, and I wasn't going to walk back. Right. So you... All the best, pal. You, Thank you very much. No, no, Thank no, you. Bye-bye no. now. Bye-bye. I rejoined the path where I left off yesterday. Sight of an old Roman fort. My selfie stick and my backpack is in the youth hostel. I'm travelling light for about two and a half miles. I've reached Alston. Just go and get my bag from the hostel. This was my accommodation last night. Top class place. I've got my selfie stick back and my pack on my back. I had a nice break and a nice sleep in the hostel, a couple of pints in the town and it was pouring it down with rain. All in all, it's worked out okay now. Um, short day now, another 10 mile or so to Greg's Buffy.
I walk through another farmyard. Come from over there, eh? And car girl ahead of me, where I shall have a break. At least the weather's fine for you. Yeah. Ah, oh, thank you, just for that. Thank you very much. Welcome to the moor. Uh, directly in front of me, I can see Great Fell for the first time since I was just short of Scotland four days ago. Eventually I approach Greg's hut. Greg's hut. I've seen him a few times on YouTube. Say no more. Although I was first to arrive, I decided to pitch my tent outside. I set my alarm for half past four. Not what you want at half past five in the morning. Ah. Uh. Ah. Plowed myself through Bogland down there now. And there's no name to this cairn on the map. Cross fell in about five minutes. Crossfell is the highest point of the whole of the Pennine Way. Crossfell. You can't see these cairns until you're right by them. If I did not have my app on my phone, I'd be buggered here now. This tent was pitched just below the radar station. Great 
Dunfell Fell radar station is behind me and I could see that from Scotland five days ago this morning I can't see it I'm about 20 yards away Gary Gill, nine and three quarters, Lifton, five and three quarters. Knock fell. Do you get the picture? Oh, now the fields and the moors in the distance can be vaguely seen with my naked eye and I'm sure the view would be superb from here if it was clear but it's not so it's not One mile to go on my Pennine Way adventure. Dufton campsite. I looked at my train app last night just to check everything was okay and uh, my train from Leeds to Chester is cancelled tonight. So that's why I've gone early. I'm going to catch an earlier train from Appleby to Leeds. And with it being a Sunday, they don't go frequent at all, every three hours or so. So I need to be there for one. It's not ten yet. And it's about three and a half miles away, so I'll put my thumb out whilst walking. Ooh. I would like to camp there on a slope not like last night outside the Bothy because of them local lads came up for a jolly not on really and the lad who was next to me in the other tent he wasn't very happy either but they were decent enough lads But it's not the point. We needed it more than them. Anyway, I got a good night's sleep in the end. Now this signpost here I touched last time. Pennine way, not done, Pennine way, done. I have plenty of time left to go to the local cafe for some breakfast. We're walking a long way. I've just finished the pen and way I have. Have you? Yeah. How do you feel? Knackered. <laughs> <laughs> I hitched the lift into Appleby and these kind people stopped for me straight away. <laughs> 